Hello, this is progress update of 4 for the little application I am working on to replace Riscos traditional apps file. I finally had some time to do some more work on this project and as usual in this progress update video we will have a look at all the latest changes. The first thing we can notice is that now Launchpad initialization process is fully multitasking. So, if a user has added a large number of apps to ResourceFS, Launchpad initialization will not lock the desktop for an extended time. This is required because Launchpad has to scan for all the apps in ResourceFS at boot. If you're not familiar with RISCOS, RISCOS does not have a preemptive multitasking scheduler. Therefore, it's an application responsibility to be multitasking at every given point. You have also probably noticed that during the initialization process, Launchpad will display an hourglass icon on top of its usual main icon. When the initialization process is completed, the hourglass icon will disappear. As for more modern desktops, we can now open the Apps Filer window just by pressing the Win button on any modern keyboard. And the exact combination is configurable. This will help on laptops with reduced key set. Another change you'll notice immediately is that now Launchpad supports the option to remove the first playing symbol so the app names are displayed without the exclamation point at the beginning of them. However, if an application name has multiple plain symbols at the beginning of its name, they will be displayed. It also adds the standard application icon to apps that do not have a custom icon defined, as you can see in this example. Another change is that now we can start typing in the search field straight away, as soon as the apps file window is opened. We can also launch an app by pressing the return key on the keyboard. The app that will be launched in this case is always the one displayed on the top left of the apps file window. Let's see how this works. And indeed, it launched CC. Another thing you just noticed is that now it behaves more like modern KDE, Microsoft Windows and Mac OS app launchers. When it launched the application, it also closed its main window. We can always open it back by pressing the Win key again or by clicking with the mouse on the apps icon. We can also use the keyboard to start Pacman store and we have a new function that allows us to search or an app on the internet. This is handy for when we cannot find an app we are searching for on the apps filer, Pacman and the Pling Store. All we have to do to search for an app on the web is to type its name in the search field and then click on the internet icon on the left or press F3. Let's see how this works. As you can see, Launchpad has also added the search term tag RISCOS. This to ask the search engine to filter results for what we are interested in too, instead of displaying a general search results. This is particularly handy when we are searching for apps that have very common names. This feature supports multiple search engines like Google, DuckDuckGo, and when the RISCOS search engine will be completed, it will indeed use it. Another feature is that now we can also drag and drop a string to search for it in the search field. Let's see how this works. Another feature added is that now Launchpad comes with an handy utility that can be installed in the boot sequence to scan all application in dollar apps at boot time. This avoids that the user has to uh, manually add them to ResourceFS using the RISCOS configure utility. 
and it is not destructive. In other words, if disabled, everything will go back to standard behavior and previous configuration. Let's see how it works. In this particular demo, I will launch it in multitasking, so it's a bit slower than when launched as a single task. And also the performance depends on the speed of the media and what's running at a given point. But we can see how much CPU is taking from the file. Okay, in this case, it can completed in 10 seconds. However, normally, in normal circumstances in that boot, it takes 5 seconds and a bit more to scanning 311 uh, apps. And it also can skip um, certain directories. In this particular case, it skipped the directory called library because it doesn't contain actual applications. As for every new progress updates, a lot of attention has been taken to ensure that Launchpad doesn't use CPU resources when it's not being used, as well as keeping it as fast as possible when it's being used. In this last demo, we will see it running uh, with uh, 311 applications should be. As we can see, when we are not using it, the CPU is completely zero. And then uh, let's open the main window. This is a lot of applications. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, and as we can see, even when we try to um, redraw the window, it's very, very snappy, very fast. And um, it immediately stops using the CPU as soon as we stop um, redrawing. OK, that's it for now. I hope you uh, enjoy all the latest changes. Um, Please um, don't forget to provide any feedback or ideas. Um, all comments are welcome. Uh, just let me know in the comments below or in the usual channels uh, on Twitter, uh, Risk Open, and so on and so forth. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice one.